let's go over to American Samoa. Joining us live is Arian Torres. Arian. Hi, Alma. Good afternoon there in the Philippines and Talofa. And good evening here in American Samoa. How are you there? I'm good. Uh, what are your updates for us, Arian? Yes, I uh, have a good news for everyone again that American Samoa is still COVID-free. Mm -hmm. The first COVID-19 test sent from American Samoa has returned negative. The Territory Health Director Mutusa welcomed the result as very good news. And two more results are pending. And earlier this afternoon, I had a chance to interview a teacher from one of the private schools here in American Samoa. Let's listen in. As a teacher, how do you help your student through online studying with this new normal situation here in American Samoa? Okay, so um, since we're using Google Classroom for our school, um, what, what I do as a teacher is I put up my PowerPoint and um, I do a video PowerPoint for them so that they'd be able to still listen to me while they are um, at home. How does the administration in your school, together with the teacher, came up with this idea or action plan? Okay, um, it's good that our administration was able to come up with an emergency action plan before um, this code that we are having in American Samoa right now. So what we have is um, plan A and plan B. So we have plan A for the kids with internet. So what they do is they just log into Google Classroom and Google Hangout so that they'd be able to um, uh, get their works, get their... Um, um, worksheets and PowerPoints, but the plan B is for the students without the Wi-Fi at home, without gadgets that um, they can use for their learning. So what we do is um, we gave out packets for them. In the packets, they have this um, worksheet, handout, same thing that we upload in the Google Classroom. Okay. Um, do you have any message to your students? Okay, uh, my message to my students, just keep on working hard. I know that this is not normal for all of us. And um, with the simple use of hand washing that I keep on telling them, um, just promote wellness by telling your families as well to keep on doing hand washing and to just stay at home because staying at home will um, reduce the risk of us getting the coronavirus. Um, do you think how are the students um, well adjusted with this new normal situation. How does the parents help them to communicate and learn um, through online studying? Okay, um, it's good that our administration in our school was able to come up with the emergency action plan two weeks ahead of time. So what um, our admin did was to have a meeting with the parents, with the students, and um, they discussed what are their options in case that they don't have internet and if they have internet. So um, it's good that the parents were able to um, respond positively with our suggestions that this would be um, possible for our homeschool. So um, in line with that, the students were able to adjust, I think, so far because um, with, the, with the online classes that we're having, it's good that I see them commenting, it's good that I see them turning in their works, but um, with the handouts, we're still going to get the results by Monday. Alma? Yes. All right, thank you very much. Just an update. I just read this that the World Bank has made available $1.5 million to American Samoa to support the COVID-19 response there. Or just, uh, just an update. Yes. Thank you so much, Arian. Always good news for us. Okay, so uh, keep the updates coming. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. Keep safe. Thank you, Alma. This is Arian Torres. We we'll live in interesting time. And that is the latest news in the Southeast Asian nations and other nations around the world. Stay updated. I'm Alma Angeles. And